the um, Brittany Griner incident, let's go ahead and get to it. And it seems that Russia, which I think everybody saw it coming, they want an exchange. Really? For who? The Lord of War. Let's check out this clip. Fair use. Today in Russia, WNBA star Brittany Griner was back in a Moscow courtroom. Her pretrial detention was extended another month following a brief hearing. The 31-year-old American has been in custody for nearly three months after vape cartridges containing cannabis oil were allegedly found in her luggage at Moscow's airport. The U.S. State Department said she's being wrongfully detained but doing as well as can be in these exceedingly difficult circumstances. Really? You think? Today in Russia, WNBA star Brittany Griner. So here's the deal. And it's like, wow, of all times doing this war. I mean, again, I think everybody already saw this coming. So Russia reportedly what they want to do is to negotiate with a merchant of death. So he's the guy, reportedly, that when it comes to um, weapons of war and mass death, he, he, he's your boy. It says here, based on this article by Yahoo, for the first time since Brittany Griner's arrest almost three months ago, and our prayers are with the girl, Russia appears to have publicly signaled its asking price for her safe return. If multiple reports by Russian state media are to be believed, I believe it. Russia is looking to exchange the WNBA star in a prisoner swap for notorious convicted arms trafficker Victor Bolt. Several state on Russian news outlets reported Friday, citing unnamed government sources. Bolt, who exploits earned him the nickname the Merchant of Death, flooded fierce conflicts in Africa and the Middle East with weapons, U.S. authorities say. He was arrested during a sting operation in Thailand in 2008, extradited to the U.S., and sentenced to 25 years for conspiracy to kill U.S. citizens, delivery of anti-aircraft missiles, and providing aid to terrorist organizations. After about to rest, the U.S. alleged that his Russian airline allies tried to block his extradition from Thailand to America by bribing key witnesses to give false testimony. Since his 2012 conviction, Bout has been at the top of Russia's prisoner exchange wish list and has been linked repeatedly in the Russian state media with potential swaps involving jailed Americans that haven't come to fruition. The merchant of death, and of all times, given what's going on with the with the uh, Ukraine, you can definitely see. I can imagine his value to them. That's the merchant of death, people. Because of his notoriety for running a fleet of aging Soviet era cargo planes to conflict-ridden hotspots in Africa, his dealings inspired the Nicolas Cage film, Lord of War. So this, I do not think the Biden administration is going to make the exchange. I just don't. I hate to say it. But let's not pretend this has not been done before. Now, depending upon your age... Bush would say, oh, we don't negotiate with terrorists. But your boy Obama did. Yeah. The Democrats have done it before. Do you remember? This article here dated June 2nd, 2014, fair use. The GOP has several complaints about the controversial deal the Obama administration negotiated with the Afghan Taliban for the release of, Argent, of Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. Remember that guy? Topping the list is the idea that President Barack Obama has violated a sacred rule, never talk to terrorists. It has long been America's unwavering bipartisan policy not to negotiate with terrorists, especially for the exchange of hostages argues George W. Bush, former U.N. Ambassador John Bolton. And George W. Bush is also like a BFF of Michelle Obama. 
based on reports. By trading to release hostages, we are invariably putting a price on the heads of other Americans. Florida Republican Senator Mark Rubio agrees, warning that the deal could encourage future terrorist kidnappings of America. Now, Brittany, she wasn't kidnapped. No, she was not kidnapped. No, but I thought about it. It's like, I mean, are you serious? It's like you're just grasping for something. I don't have all the information for the rules on Russia. Really don't care to, to be totally honest with you. But this right here, I know in the back of my mind, there's going to be an exchange, especially with this war. And now we know. After all, he is on the top of their wish list. And with this current war that's going on, I'm quite sure they will consider the merchant of death uh, is very, very helpful to them. So this here, we will see what the Biden administration, they say, quote, that they're doing all that they can do. Um, at this point, I just don't really believe any politician. I, I really don't. Um, three months. Not drugs. We're talking cannabis, vaping, oil. And she's detained. My other thing is, what if this were a black man? Would the community be in outrage if it was a, a black man? Would the community be in outrage? So this here, I'm sure she has endured just a, a living nightmare. She's been there for three months and now it's been pushed back or extended to another month. So what then? I don't see her getting out and I just hate to say it. I'm, ho I'm well, I'm not going to speak something negative into the universe, but she has to be going through a lot. I just hope she can come back here safe physically and also mentally. But this here, the wish list, they want the merchant of death. And especially at a time like this here, at a time when they're fighting in the Ukraine. So we'll see. Biden, what you going to do? The Biden administration. And I know in, in dust bucket fashion, it's a lot of our people are coming to scapegoat. Well, she shouldn't have had that vapor when she went over there. She should have known and researched it. Oh, when it comes to a black woman, when I always put on her, let's make sure you had that same heat for these dusties. And that's how I feel about them when they get popped by the police. Well, he shouldn't have been selling drugs. When he get popped for child support and get arrested, well, he shouldn't have been having all those, getting all those ladies pregnant. But I've been watching and I just don't see, I've seen a few videos on it. I don't see a massive outcry, but oh, don't let, don't let a felonious fella from the hood get got. They can't be doing that for him. Where the mammy's at? Thirty more days. So the wish list, they want the merchant of death. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that the Biden administration is going to acquiesce to the wish list and make a prisoner swap? Don't forget, Barack Obama did it. He did it for, not that it matters, but Barack Obama did it, did it for a white Caucasian male, a Caucasian male. He sure did. Uh, Biden, what you going to do? Cam, Cam, Kamala. And see, the sad thing is, with this war, I think they're going to be extra precautious because it's it's like a no win. With the war going on with Ukraine, if he does that, oh, so now you negotiate with terrorists. And these are things I know the BC is not really overly concerned about. If he does that, then the next thing you know, kidnappings of America, of Americans. I can easily see it. That's why they, when they say, get back to the country you leave, you might, you know, leave. Not speaking on this situation here. She was there for sports. But you think about it. It's a no-win situation. And her life just hangs in a balance. I cannot imagine. A no-win situation. Because if he does do that and war with the Ukraine, 
Next thing you know, here come the blame game. Well, if he hadn't released the merchant of death, her life is in the balance. So traveling abroad, I would say this, and there's no guarantee, research, research, research. Because things like this here, you just don't want to put make you just don't want to get in a position where here it's it's nothing, but over there any excuse to try to get a hold of an American. I think, in my opinion, Pooty Poo is desperate. I think he thought, again, in my opinion, it was going to be a quick lay down. They were going to go over there and boot off those little people. Shoot, Ukraine is about that life. They're fighting for the life. They're fighting for their culture, the very survival, and they have lost so much. To be honest, I did not think it would go on this long, this war. I, I did not with the invasion of Russia. Oh, gosh. I didn't think it would go on. I really thought a couple of weeks, 30 days at the max. In the meanwhile, her life's in a balance. So I would say anyone traveling abroad, just be very careful. Be careful for nothing. Uh, I don't care if it's a vapor. I don't care if it, all I have is this. Just don't take any chances. Just, just don't. Again, here is nothing, but this here, I felt it coming. I'm like, take it, you know, felt it coming. And I think uh, one man has been released. Uh, I think there was another man that was being held. He may still be there. But yeah, Brittany Griner, they want to exchange her for the merchant of death. So what do you guys think is going to happen? Ah. Uh, I can't imagine for this young woman and for her parents. I just hope and pray for a safe return and just let her be okay physically and also mentally. This has to be a living nightmare. But I just see it as a no-win. If they were to exchange her today and they get the merchant of death, knowing that guy's background, you pretty much have an idea. And he's more than likely because he's been locked up. And I think he received a 25-year sentence knowing his background. Oh, what they say, the bitch come with a vengeance. The fact that he's been locked up, he's going to really go hard. So it's a no win. So prayers to her and her family. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for listening. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.